this lesson is part of day five. I sent you a photograph of a cherry tomato that you can work with if you choose to, or if you can find another tomato, something small, um, probably no bigger than a Campari, because those are already starting to get a little big. You can acquire your own tomato and, and do this uh, project. So we're going to use this tomato as our subject, and as you can see here, I have um, a, a slightly different tomato uh, that I had started um, and done as a demonstration um, in a previous uh, Watercolor 1 class. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to paint this tomato three times, and I don't know if you can see that there is another drawing of this tomato. Um, besides the one that's that's already finished. The whole purpose of this is to paint this tomato to use the different uh, shading techniques that, uh, that you can use as a botanical artist. Uh, this particular one has been done with botanical gray, which means that the, um, the shadow color has been created using uh, ultramarine blue, uh, uh, permanent rose, and uh, cadmium yellow pale. Uh, this next one I'm going to, I've labeled and it, the, we're going to use the complement for the shadow. And the last one we're going to use the neutral tint. Now in uh, all cases uh, we're going to start with a tea wash. So um, I'm looking at this particular tomato up here and I'm going to have to use that as kind of a guide as to what I'm going to do. Um, so what I'll start with is probably a very light uh, yellow, uh, probably, in, um, probably in cadmium yellow pale, uh, diluted quite a bit. So that it basically is very, very uh, pale, and the whole purpose is to give you a, a guide to work with so that you can get rid of your guidelines as quickly as possible. Just remember that when you use yellow, you may want it to not go entirely up to the guideline, because once yellow is down, the guideline will not come up you can you don't have to worry about it too much with this particular subject because the red uh, will tend to cover the guideline and uh, it won't be um, a critical factor in the finished product but if you're doing a yellow subject which is something that you would um, work on in drawing in watercolor too uh, you'll find that uh, you really need to be very careful with the guidelines. So I am in fact going to dampen um, this shape with a little bit of water just to make life a little easier and uh, allow the watercolor not to dry too quickly on the page. Okay, so I'm going to take my yellow now and I'm just going to put a light yellow wash down, more or less staying away from the, uh, the pencil outline. I mean, going up to it, but not really touching it. That way I can erase it when I need to. And uh, uh, that will resolve the pencil problem. Remember, if you have any puddles, to get rid of them. so that you don't, again, end up with cauliflower edges, even with a light yellow like this. 
And I'm going to do the next one as well so that we can work both of these tomatoes at the same time. You can actually go over even the green in this case, the uh, stems and brats for the tomato because I haven't painted them in. And you can use that yellow tea wash for those as well. Okay, so we need to wait for this to dry and we'll come back to it. <laughs> 